All right, time now, 514. And here's something to get your attention. You may not even realize it, but you could lose out on hundreds of dollars when the year ends. And it's money that you're already setting aside for yourself. John Shumway is here with a reminder this morning that you'll want to keep in mind. So tell us more, John. I actually wish I had a red flag that I could sit here and weigh because that's what this is. This is one of those things. We all set these things up during our annual setup of our insurance policies with our employers. Then a lot of times we forget about it. But those flexible spending accounts could be leaving a lot on the table at the end of this year. A flexible spending account is what you set up to cover your out-of-pocket medical and dental cost. And it allows you to deduct those costs from your paycheck pre-tax so you aren't charged taxes on that money. The same for dependent care accounts that we use for child care. Now here's the hitch. During the pandemic, the government relaxed the rules that required you to use the money in your FSA by the end of the year or lose it. In fact, depending on your employer, you may have been able to roll over any unused money to the next year. That no rollover rule is returning. So without getting into all the complicated rules, you run into the potential of losing the money you have set aside if you don't use it by the end of the year. Now, there are a lot of things you can use the money for, from over-the-counter medications to blood pressure monitors, menstrual pads and tampons, to COVID supplies like masks and hand sanitizers. You just have to make sure you spend the money and have receipts for it before the deadline at the end of the year. Now, because the rollover being allowed, you may have more money in your account than you realize. So you really do need to check your balance and see how your employer is going to handle this change. Also, this is for FSAs, not health savings accounts or HSAs, which are a lot more complicated and are not impacted by this rule returning. So you need to know which kind of an account you have. All right, so what happens if you lose that money? And I wondered about that too, so I did some research on it. It goes back to your employer, and they can use it. Your employer can use it for administrative cost of handling the plan, reducing annual premiums, or if your employer actually contributes to the FSA, they would distribute your money equally among everyone oh. involved in the FSA program. Bottom line, find out what kind of an account you have and what you need to do because the deadline is the end of the year. Well, well you know the money was going to go somewhere and now right. we know the answer. Right. So act now and make sure it doesn't happen. Yeah, because the end of the year is going to be here before you know it. And oh, you have right. to be able to prove your expenses. Yeah. All right. Thanks, John. We appreciate it.